So LinkedIn's objective with regard to content and the sharing of content is to be the definitive professional publishing platform. And for us, uh, there are a number of different ways to share content on LinkedIn historically, uh, either through a status update, uh, a group post. We acquired a company called SlideShare. Uh, but it really started to come into increasing focus with the launch of our influencer platform and program, uh, which is now about a year and a half old. And that was all about inviting professional luminaries on a global basis to share their professionally relevant knowledge and expertise in long form, and for the first time ever to allow them to be followed by members of LinkedIn, not just a symmetrical connection. And so today, uh, you see folks like Richard Branson that have amassed north of four million followers. And uh, we've got a number of people like Jack Welch, uh, the heads of state, uh, President of the United States, uh, the Prime Minister of the UK, uh, head of the World Bank, uh, all generating substantial numbers of followers. And uh, CEOs on a global basis now are increasingly participating. So uh, there's a lot of very positive traction there. And what we've done is we're, we're now evolving that part of our platform. And so we're going to enable all members of LinkedIn to share their knowledge as well. We'll continue to maintain this exclusive number of professional luminaries as influencers, uh, but we want to make sure that every member of LinkedIn uh, can share their expertise. So growing your followership is really about the, the, the content and uh, just generating engaging content and uh, trying to post in a somewhat regular cadence. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be every day or even every week. Uh, but the more content you're sharing, the more uh, you can develop an audience. So uh, you look at the, the WPP family. So Martin has been posting as an influencer, uh, Rob, and of course David Sable, who I believe just surpassed 200,000 followers. And I was at this event, uh, this very event last year with him. We were talking about LinkedIn as a publishing platform. And he was sharing with me how much he enjoyed writing. And I was encouraging him to start sharing on LinkedIn. And so lo and behold, uh, 12 months later, he's got 200,000 followers. And I think that's a testament to how passionate he is about uh, the knowledge that he has been able to amass over the years and um, his interest and excitement in terms of sharing that. And so I, that's an excellent model. You know, it starts with uh, the things you're most passionate about, uh, the things that really set you apart as an individual or as a company. And uh, we see that now from CEOs and C-level executives all over the world. The fastest growing business in LinkedIn's history is our sponsored content offering, which we launched in the fall of last year. And that enables companies to sponsor content within our members' feeds. Uh, and that can be on desktop, it can be on mobile. About 70% of that revenue is now being generated on mobile. Uh, not surprisingly, given how engaging that content is and the, the, the form factor. Uh, but companies are, are sharing uh, new product introductions, they're sharing thought leadership, uh, they're sharing their strategies and their vision, their culture, their values. Um, they're talking about hard truths, uh, challenges that they're going through. Uh, recently, uh, the CMO of Target had an opportunity to talk about some of the challenges that company's facing in light of what happened recently with credit card uh, theft. And so uh, companies are now able to position themselves and what they're about. And the more authentically they can do that, the more they can tie uh, their talent brands, who they are as organizations, uh, with their corporate brands and their, uh, their product offerings, I think the more successful they can be. So video is a natural extension of LinkedIn as a publishing platform. Uh, you see increasingly uh, videos being shared on people's profiles through rich media sharing, on SlideShare. It's not just about PowerPoint presentations, but videos as well. And now through uh, our publishing platform, the influencer platform specifically, uh, we've been starting to see more video. Dan Roth, our executive editor who came over from Fortune magazine, uh, Dan has started his own series where he is in, he's interviewing influencers now. And uh, he started with the, the CEO of Cinnabon. He just recently had a chance to sit down with Martin. Uh, and his next one is going to be with the Secretary General of the United Nations. So a very diverse group. And uh, we're starting to, to see a lot of demand uh, for people to, to have the opportunity to share via uh, rich media and, and not just through text. So video is going to be essential to that.